The theory of relativity by Einstein, three laws of motion by Isaac Newton, and also the light bulb invented by Thomas Edison. Now, you might be saying, and you, what the hell are you talking about? What do those three things have in common? Well, they were all discovered by one single person, very much unlike the Race Awakening or Race V4 and Blocks routes, where hundreds of millions of players spend months trying to figure out I just couldn't. Honestly, you probably would have had better luck finding the One Piece than the Race Awakening. But fortunately for us, the Blockstreet's admins finally decided to just tell us exactly how to unlock the Race Awakenings. In the previous episode, if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out after this one, we unlocked the Mink Awakening or the Rabbit Awakening, whatever you call it. And I asked you guys, the viewers, which race I should awaken next. And the answer was overwhelmingly, wait, actually, before I tell you, Pause the video and take a guess in the comments on what you think the popular vote was. All right, welcome back. If you would have guessed the cyborg, well, you would have been wrong. It was, it was human. It, human was the clear winner. So that's what we're going to do today. Follow me on my journey to unlocking my second ever race awakening, the human. No idea what the human awakening abilities are other than the pose is straight out of Jojo. So let's find out together. Come here, come here, come here. Closer. Little closer. Use code in you. So in order to awaken the human race, obviously we must get the human race first. Currently, as you can see, I am still the awakened uh, mink. Rabbit, I'm sorry, don't cancel me. It's not a racist. And we're currently at three quarter moon, so the full moon is coming quick. Let's go ahead and buy some race rerolls with Robux. Wish me luck. Come on, human. <sighs> Damn it. Not the race reroll scam. Not this one again. Bruh. Damn it, shark. Psych. No. I already have that one. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Blocks for hoots. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this. Got it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <sighs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Come on, this is the human. I can feel it. It's in the heart of the cards. Is the human race that OP now that you can't get it from spins anymore? Yes! Oh my god! I didn't think it was possible. It's easier to roll for the Komodo family in Project Slayers than get the human race in Blocks Fruits now, apparently. Oh my god! I'm just gonna say it. I hate Demon Slayer. Cancel me, I don't care. Demon Slayer sucks. I'm just kidding, don't cancel me. I love Demon Slayer. So we're the human race now. All we gotta wait is for this moon to set, the sun to rise, and then the sun to set, and then finally uh, it'll be full moon, I think. So this is finally gonna be our journey of becoming Kujo Jotaro. Before going ahead and getting race V4, let's find out what the human race V1, 2, and 3 even does, because I don't know. And you don't either, because nobody used the human race until now. Luckily, we have the Blocks Roots wiki. You know, some can argue that it's not entirely accurate, but it's a good start. So right off the bat, you have a 50% chance of spawning with the human race, so it's very common. 25% chance to get it when you're changing your race through the reroll. That's cap. Damn it! No! Nope. Come on! <laughs> so V1 of human, no buffs. Not surprised. V2 has four buffs. In increase movement speed. Flash step range is doubled. And cooldown is lowered? Alright, V3 with the last resort ability. User deals more damage depending on how low their health is during the ability. Okay, so the lower your health, the higher your damage. Very interesting. Now let's go ahead and unlock race V4. All right, well, it's been a couple of minutes. The sun is on its way down, so the full moon is coming. Let's head over into the Temple of Time. Man, I can't tell you how many times I've pulled this lever. Too many. I'm done pulling levers for the rest of my life after this is all over. Can you stand on this? Oh, no, you're just, you're just floating in midair. <laughs> yeah, the Blackstruise physics is um, Isaac Newton. Who? Three, two, one, go. Yes. What the? Defeat the boss? It's a different trial? I thought it was a maze. I should have switched to the Buddha. I didn't know. Wait, I thought all the trials were going to be the same. He's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. He's weak as hell. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Three, two, one. <laughs> he already reset. I'm the winner. I'm the true gladiator. Yeah, let's go. That PvP part, easiest part. All right. Been here, done this. We about to awaken, boys. Let me actually read this in a little more detail because the first time I did it, I wasn't paying attention. 
So this is the first gear. Upon transforming, receive max stats as well as increased damage and speed and heal by 10%. So this is the same as the mink. I did the gear. Okay, okay, we did it, we did it. Woo! Improves transformation duration and energy gain. Let's see if we have time during this full moon to do it again. I gotta charge my thing quick. Charge up, charge up! <laughs> Sus kill. Oh, we even knocked down the tree and my eyes are red. Star Platinum! <laughs> okay, okay, stop wasting time. Quick. Yes! Number two. Boom! Okay, no time to sit around. We'll take a look at all that stuff afterwards. Let's do this fast. Number three. All right, let's get up there. No time to waste. Oh man, guys, human looks, yeah, human's the one. The red glowing effect is just cooler. Race Awakening speed run. Okay. Come back when you train more. But I've trained. I trained three times. Hurry. This is the fourth time. Is it different for human? Let's go talk to the orb again. If this doesn't work, then we're out of time. I guess block through scam strikes again. No! Okay, if I remember correctly, I should still be able to talk to the red orb though. Let's see what he says after doing it another time. Hold on. Bruh. Come back when you train more. What? So I just did a little bit of searching and actually some people are saying you need to do it between three to five times. Like activate your race awakening in order to complete your first training. So maybe it's not always three. So this will be the fifth time. Oh. Yo, the activation of the Awakening does damage. Did not know that. Let's take a look here. Oh my goodness. Look at my eyes though. Wait, am I twitching? Am I twitching? Am I doing the tw weird twitch thing? Oh God. Oh. Wait, my Awakening's done, but I'm still twitching. <laughs> Why is that happening? <laughs> Looks like Joe Tower got the hiccups or something. All right, let's see what that stupid engine orb is saying now. If he's still saying I haven't completed my training, it's gonna be on site. Forget the devil fruits, I'm pulling out the Glock. Yes, thank you, you've been working hard. Hey man, you know, hard work pays off. That's what I always tell myself. Transformation upgrade, uh, 1000 frags. So now we gotta wait for the full moon. So yeah, it is a new moon cycle. You know, I'm a busy guy. I don't have like 30 to 45 minutes to wait for the moon to come up. So I'm gonna take a nap. the next day looks like the sun's about to set full moon is coming that was a good nap let's head on back up to the temple of time hey all right i'm prepared to fight this boss i'm the winner i'm the best you guys suck all right that's my second gear choose a gear to replace so this one allows the user to become stronger as they fight through a rage meter and that's the blue and the red one. Flash step now has three charges, which temporarily makes the user invisible and faster upon use. I'm gonna go with Psycho. Yeah, boy. Cause I'm crazy. <laughs> Let's do this training. Let's fill up this bar and test out our new ability. All right, here we go. Shoosh. So now I should have three flash steps. See how that goes. What? Two? Shush! And you're invisible, you're right! That's sick! Alright, hold on, let's let's keep training. We gotta do this ten times. So the reason why I'm doing this is when we did the Mink Awakening, we only did two trials. This time, we're doing them all. Whoa! What the hell was that? Was that the cyborg? Jeez! You need to activate Race Awakening over 200 times total. Nah, man. Nah, 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 hell no. All right. Oh, just crossfire. That's 10. What? Oh my God. Why does it keep doing that? I swear that was 10. Was that less than 10? Was that not nine? Was that nine? So guys, I'm just reading the Blocks Roots wiki now and it is actually saying I, I need to use Race Awakening 15 times. I guess 10 is not the right number. All right, watch this, watch this. 
Get out of my fi- <laughs> That's sick! Woo! Alright, that's 15, boys. Let's see what this stupid orb is saying now. There we go! Let's go, boys! Now we just gotta wait for the full moon. Let's go! Yes, I win! As always, this is the third trial I've completed. Click to socket a new gear. Bam! Flash Stab charges now regenerate faster, dash distance increases, and moves cannot be cancelled anymore upon taking damage. Oh, okay, so let's try out this other move. Allows the user to become stronger as they fight through a rage meter. Let's get the rage meter in. So we already have the improve transformation duration and energy gain. So there's literally only one left. Then we're done. Alright, time to start the training session. Did I say in the last video, awakening your race uh, doesn't get old? It's starting to get old. This is hilarious how this is the way to train. <laughs> Woo! Wee! All right, that should be it. Yes. No, I don't have frags. Okay, pay to win. Let's buy four thousand five hundred more. This is. Taking a serious toll on my Robux, man. 2,000 Robux. Perfect. Next upgrade. Okay, we just gotta wait for the full moon, which is gonna take another 17 years. So now I'm talking to the ancient orb again, and it is saying that I need to go through three additional trainings, and I've done only one of the three, which I didn't really know what it meant until I looked at the Bloxroots wiki again, and I think I understand now. When I upgraded just now, I actually only needed to activate race awakening 15 times now i need to do it another 25 and 35 which is a total of 60 times before i can do the next trial that is insane well there's nothing better to do i guess let's do the speed run Twenty-five. All right, let's fly up there. We're gonna eat the light fruit again. I don't know why I ate the Buddha. Oh my! This is the most tedious thing I've ever had to do. All right, that's like that should be twenty-seven. There's not much time before the full moon comes up. No. Dude, what? I don't get it. Am I on the third stage where I need thirty-five instead of twenty-five? I don't get it. 346 minutes later. 35! Alright, let's go, let's go. See what's going on up there. Please. <laughs> How many more do you want me to do? Two very boring minutes later. Let me try again. I'm gonna talk to this guy again. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, so I don't know why. I did like 38 that time and it finally worked. So weird. All right, speed run before the full moon comes. Oh. Oh. Woo. Thousands of tears later. 30? Alright, they're saying to just go to the top and try it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it a try. I'm at 30 now. I hope so. No! Oh! Let me see. Here. <laughs> this is, uh, how much training do I have to go through? Yo, just hit me with a two-year time skip, bro. Two thousand years later. That's 35. Dude, I swear to God, bro. I'm not playing, bro. Oh, my God. <sighs> this should be... Let's try. 
more. One long angry line later. I hate that orb. That, I hate that orb more than dealer cousin. Try again. Oh my God. We're just gonna do 10 more. I don't know, dude. Many tic tacs later. Nine. It's got definitely real old. Real old. Ten. All right, let's see what happens. Yo, if it's still, if I need to train more after all that, scam, dude. The ancient scam. The scam one. Nah, man. Nah. Something is wrong. I'm getting scammed because it says all I need is 35. One eternity later. I don't like. <laughs> How many more do we have to do? All right, let's do like I don't know, like what? What? Wait, why am I so tiny? What the hell is this, Bruh. I look like a. <laughs> Why do I look like this? We might as well make you look like a noob since you can't finish three trials. Let me go again. I refuse to believe this is real. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna crawl. It worked. It worked. The stage three is real. <laughs> That was hands down the most difficult thing that I had to do in Blocks Fruits, but wait! It is saying after I complete the next trial, stage 5 is gonna have 5 training lessons. If any of you guys have uh, gotten stage 5 already, please, please go outside. Breathe some fresh air, touch some grass. Alright guys, it's full moon, we gotta get this going. Yes! Woo wee! Wee! Yeah, re <laughs> always the king of the gulag. Your rage meter now lasts longer and is uncapped to 150%. Or if I do flash step, charges now regen faster, dash distance increases, and moves cannot be canceled anymore upon taking damage. I think I'm going to go with Psycho Tier 2. That is all five gears. Wait, I actually haven't taken the chance to take a look at this room yet. So it's got the banners, human, cyborg. Hey, wait a minute. Guys, does this mean there's gonna be a new race coming? It's an empty banner. So we now have all five gears, which means every single skill with a human V4 unlocked. I think there is one more stage where you can complete and unlock the trial permanently. We're not gonna bother with that because it doesn't give us any new skill. Let's try out this human V4 in PVP and see how good it actually is. But first, code in you. Look at that red, beautiful. So I'm hoping this leper fruit is gonna go out with the human awakening. Let's give it a try. All right, let's go. Race awakening activated. Jeez, just look at that. Oh yeah, get that counter up, boy. Invisible teleport. Instant transmission. Oh my God, oh, the dragon. Yes, we did it. Oh, the human race awakening v4. Oh man, that's pretty sick. Let's go. 85 on the damage counter. It's it's over for you, dude. It's over for you. 94. Yo, who's next? Dude, this damage counter makes you so powerful. This is a cheat code. I can't be touched. I'm invincible, dude. I'm on a rampage. Say goodnight. Yo, it's a one-shot kill with his damage counter. One combo kill. You better stop! Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear to god. No. no. Oh. <laughs> this is sick. Get your ass back here, boy. <laughs> How many times? What kind of streak am I on? <laughs> I got them both. What the hell? Bro, even they're saying what the hell is going on. Oh my god. I'm still max health. So as long as you keep doing damage, your, your awakening never ends. 
The game is broken, guys. This game is absolutely broken. Yo, look, he's not even gotten out of the spawn yet. <laughs> Yo, you can't leave the you can't leave the building. Oh, oh no. Dude. 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 I'm chasing. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> They finally got me! <laughs> Guys, the human V4 is absolutely broken. Well, there you have it, everybody. I gotta do this outro before my timer in the bar runs out, but the human V4 awakening is absolutely broken. I have, I'm just speechless. From the stance, the color, not a big fan of the Twitch, and the skills. Mwah! Perfection. I hope this inspires you who don't have human V4 to unlock it. But real quick, let me know in the comments which race I should awaken next. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All that good stuff is in the description. And for now, Grandpa be out. Peace!